After the re-election of the French President Emmanuel Macron, Prime Minister Modi will be the first high-profile dignitary to visit France next week. France is pushing for the sale of used Rafale marine fighter jets and additional Scorpion submarines to the Indian Navy. France has also offered the F-21 heavyweight torpedo for six Calvary-class submarines, and has identified 30 companies in India for local production. There are reports that India can sign the deal for one A330 mid-air refueler for its air force during this visit. Bharat Electronics Limited has started fabrication of integrated flight control computer for the futuristic unmanned fighter aircraft. The DRDO has also invited academic partners to help optimize critical components of the design with the help from IIT Kanpur. The FUFA will have nearly 10 ton all up weight, and it could be powered by a cavalry engine with an afterburner section in the future. The director of Cochin Shipyard has said that INS Vikrant is set to go for the last leg of its sea trials, during which touch and go landing on the aircraft carrier will be done by the MiG 29K at high sea, as well as takeoff and landings from its deck. Cochin Shipyard will officially hand over the first indigenous aircraft carrier to the Indian Navy by end of May, that will be commissioned into the Indian Navy in August. A joint team of the DRDO and Indian Army has successfully tested an upgraded version of the Akash Prime missile at the Pokharun field firing range. The DRDO has made some technical changes, and has added new advanced features to the Akash Prime missile and its firing capability is being checked in high temperature conditions from the last three days. It was fired from a heavy vehicle, and it flew at a speed of 3087 km per hour, and successfully destroyed its target. The RDO's gas turbine research establishment is ready with the cavalry dry engine developed for the autonomous stealthy unmanned combat air vehicle but the simulated high-altitude tests at Russia's Gromov Flight Research Institute has been delayed, that was to simulate high-altitude conditions on the ground, after which engine was scheduled to be tested from the IL-76 flying test bed, but due to the current situation in Eastern Europe, the simulated high-altitude flight test will take longer. After the Ministry of Defense and the Navy agreed to develop the indigenous engine for the maritime propulsion, gas turbine research establishment has started fresh work on the 12 megawatt cavalry marine gas turbine with a modified core. The cavalry marine gas turbine engine was not able to maintain its peak power out for a longer duration during its previous tests. The gas turbine research establishment has fixed many of the technical issues of the cavalry core under the cavalry dry engine program, and is confident that it can also fix the cavalry marine gas turbine engine core. A joint team of the Indian Navy and the Andaman and Nicobar Command have tested an anti-ship version of the BrahMos supersonic cruise missile, that successfully destroyed a sea-based target, and has again demonstrated its combat readiness. In a significant development, six of the seven new defense companies that were carved out of the Ordnance Factory Board on 15 October 2021, have reported provisional profits during the initial six months of their business. Except Yantra India Limited, all the other six companies have reported provisional profits. The seven companies have secured over 3,000 crore rupees of domestic order, and 600 crore rupees of export order. A senior U.S. government official has said that after the directions from the leadership of both India and U.S., India's defense cooperation with the U.S. will soon overcome the hurdles on transfer of technology and bureaucratic red tape, and the two countries are now looking at specific areas like undersea technologies for collaboration.